Now I read that if your ball sack to sweat ratio is over 10%, then nothing needs to be said, alright? I'll, I'll let you just sit here and listen to the trickling of the sweat down my shaft and everything will be okay. You see, this is a perfect example of what we're talking about today. I will get into that in a minute, but something does need to be said today. Um, a few things, as a matter of fact. First thing being of which, this is Skyrim, um, DLC specifically. I turn into Mr. Vampire Man and start sucking some blood, not dick. And, um, yeah, pretty fucking nice. So, anyway, what I will be talking about today is making it work. Number fucking three. Great. I'm not an L Mexican, but I prefer the Mexican restaurant today. I have some hot sauce in the bag of this day. But, specifically, what? And this is a big deal. It usually happens with males more than females um, rushing things. And what I mean by this is, let's just give it a little example. And the one I did at the beginning was perfect, right? Like, you don't know me very well, or at least most people don't. And uh, I don't think you really want to hear me talk about my balls that much, you know? I mean, it's just not one of the prime things that you want coming out of my mouth. But. If it is, then you know what? I'm glad that my balls can provide some type of savior for you. And, um, you know, that's just great. I feel good inside. But if that's not the case, then you know what I'm talking about. And specifically saying, if you're going on a date with a girl or something, and you just learned her name or something, and you just had your first kiss, and then you try for anal, it's probably not going to go too well, you know? You can't just say, hey, let's fuck. You know? Hey. What's your favorite color? Blue. Mine's blue too. Let's fuck. That's like great, you know? You both like blue, that's fucking great, but something tells me that that doesn't really matter, you know? You're definitely not gonna go anywhere just because your favorite color is blue, right? Yeah, maybe you can have something to talk about, like, you know, the color blue. Chances are you won't be analing her that night. Keep that in mind, all you analers out there. And I know it can be hard sometimes, like in cases, but if you really like that person, then you're going to wait for them to get on the same level. You know, you're not just going to fucking run out there and be like, hey, bitch, let's fuck. I keep that right now. Let's go. And she's like, um, no. Let me kiss that. Then. For her, which is the right thing to do, or you can tie her up, throw her in the back of your van, and the DCF thing will go down, but it will be in the category of rape, and uh, chances are it's not gonna go too well with you, you know? I mean, but if that is your route of going so, like if a bitch ever says no to you, Simple fucking solution. You don't need a fucking book or this video to tell you what to do. All you need is some fucking rope, a crowbar, and some KYR jelly. Now, you may be wondering what the crowbar is for specifically. Let me tell you, alright? So, you get in this bitch's tight poon, right? And it's not an average, everyday poon, right? This thing is tighter than fucking tight could be. And you have to crowbar that bitch open, alright? Maybe your dick's like five feet wide. If so, then send me a picture or something, because I'm quite intrigued. Um, but, no, don't really send me any dick pics. I would, uh, I'd appreciate that very much. I'm fucking bats. I can turn to bats, bitches. But, so wait for the bitch. And if you don't want to, then it's not going to work out. You know, don't fucking force her into shit. Because if a bitch is forced into doing something, and not only does she not enjoy it, and what's the point of doing something if the other person doesn't enjoy it? And on top of that, chances are she's going to be really fucking pissed off and she's not going to fucking like you for that, you know? Like, if, if you fucking talk to her and you're like, um, I like you, let's kiss, and she's like, I don't know about that, and then you're like, no, kiss, and you kiss her, then... 
chances are it's gonna get to the point of where you're that guy that gets his dick cut off. You know that fucking guy, and he was like raping his wife or whatever, and then she like cut off his dick in the middle of the sleep. His sleep. So unless you want to take the t chances of getting it sewn back on and becoming a porn star like that guy, just avoid getting your dick chopped off. I would highly recommend this. Unless she's like a master cook or something, she's gonna put your dick into like a soup or something and make it all delicious. Um, in that case, then you know, go have some dick soup. But other than that, I'd very much recommend you to stay away from anything sharp in your penis. They usually don't go too well together. I mean, if you really have to do whatever it is and you're like, no, can't wait then, you know what, things just aren't right, you know, you ever heard of the thing where all oh, it's like, good things come to those who wait, not at the exact moment, cause you know what, you don't really give a shit, but after a while and you do wait, then things are gonna work, she's gonna be like, wow, this guy, he's gonna wait for me, he's gonna trust me, he's gonna trust my feelings, and guess what? That turns the girl on. That bitch will be slipping, slipping out of her seat and flapping on the ground like a fucking fish out of water for you. After that, she'll be sliding all over the place. It's fucking great. Best fucking thing ever. Women like that shit, you know? Be a fucking good guy and wait. Don't rush things. That's my point. And since I have some extra time here, and I don't just want to cut this shit out on you poor bitches, let me just tell you something really fucking quick, Ray. Okay? I said quick white, white. I don't know why I can't speak. Speech in spediment. I apologize. But real quickly before I have to end this shit. It's only another minute long. I was thinking the best pickup line ever wouldn't even be a line, right? All you have to do is go up to the chick, get out a caution wet floor sign, like a tiny one, and like tape it to a or something. And once you see that it's like so wet, She's really gonna get wet, and she's just like, oh yeah, that's what's fucking down, and then she wants you hard. Like fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cough so much. But anyways, that's it. I'm getting the fuck out of here. My PlayStation name will be in the description. Yes, I said it right this time. PlayStation motherfuckers. I got it right this time. I deserve a fucking trophy. Fucking give me a trophy or something, bitch. Um, other than that, you can like the video and leave me a comment. Um, leave me a comment saying that you'd give me a trophy. You know what? That'll make my fucking day as I transform into another abomination here. Other than that, I'm going to go. Hope your day is great, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Music in the description.